So this is going to be the second part of the no touch repair and uh, um, I've learned quite a bit since I started working on these iPhone X's and one thing I've learned is that uh, it's going to be a nightmare to repair these things. I think data recovery is going to be fairly easy but repairing them it's going to be a challenge. I think in some of the older versions of the iPhones like the 6 and, and, and above um, you know, is a lot harder for data recovery when it's water damage or something like that versus um, trying to repair the phone. You know, because with data recovery and older phones, repairing the phones was pretty much kind of required. You know, for the for the most part. You know, you would have, you would need to repair the touch, the um, display, and uh, for iTunes to recognize it, which is kind of like no charge, no power, TriStar. Um, in the iPhone X, um, the difference is that you can actually you can take this board off and use another um, bottom frame to uh, power it up and what's going on with these iPhone X is it seems like the most common problem is this board separating right here this this little middle ring separating from the bottom board so so data recovery is going to be a very easy thing and and you know I, I've been really been thinking hard about some sort of pricing structure you know and I think um, with the with the with the 10, it's going to be data recovery is probably going to be the least expensive option, you know, versus um, trying uh, returning a repaired phone to the customer. So, so what I've come up with, well, I don't want to say the price that I'm I'm going with on this um, video because it's probably going to change. Um, but um, but basically, data recovery is going to be the the cheapest option really and then if you want the phone repaired then it's going to be an add-on option and it, it's not going to be um, it's not going to be cheap um, I'll just say that because repairing this thing is going to be a re it's going to be a nightmare it really is and uh, I don't know maybe maybe other people are having better success with it but not only is repairing going to be a nightmare but offering a warranty on it after you have it repaired it's not going to be good. It's not. I, I just, you know, <laughs> there's no way around it. I mean, because you have this ring right here that has uh, solder balls on both sides that need uh, that need to be reballed and put back on uh, straight. You know, without any bridges or anything like that. And and uh, I just don't know how it's going to work. Um, the only thing that I see that that might work is if I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. So, in order to remove this bottom, this ring right here, I'm, I'm at 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so um, the only thing that I can see that that'll make this easier is if somebody created this this ring right here with that's pre-balled on both sides, and then maybe all you have to do is, um, you know, after you after you take this ring off, run the jumpers for the missing pads. Um, you can uh, you can just maybe just put it on your preheater and uh, and let it melt and then you're in business you know so I think if somebody came up with this with this ring and then that's pre-balled uh, and I think the price point would have to be probably like ten fifteen dollars maybe a maximum of twenty dollars and then and then you're in business so if you're looking for an idea to to do. Uh, I mean, I don't know if anybody will be able to beat the Chinese at this game because uh, because uh, you know they have access to all the manufacturing plants and all that stuff. They can build these things fairly quickly if they really want to, you know. So, but I think I think that's really the only way to kind of go about this, to be honest with you. Because I'm gonna take this off right now. I'm I'm I've already gotten the data off of this, and that's all the guy really wanted, you know. Um, but I'm gonna try to repair it. I just want to see how long it's gonna take me to do it, and see whether it's doable or not. And then, yeah, and then we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, what's what's the success rate? And then, you know, is it is it gonna come back to me, or like I don't know what's gonna happen, you know. I'm actually going to try to use that stupid tool again. The little thing that I have here. Hold on a second, what am I doing? Okay, let's put this over here. Let's put this sucker over here. And then we're going to lift. I 
And I think we determined that this little middle ring right here is a good place to kind of lift. Because there are no components. All right, so the ring is off. Looks like this thing works. This little uh, tool, this little add-on tool that I have for the um, for my quick uh, nine uh, nine fifty seven DW. Okay, so let's look under a microscope and see if we can see torn pads. Looks so blurry, doesn't it? Does it look a little blurry to you? Why is it so blurry? I feel like this thing is so high, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on with my microscope, dude. Okay, so... So you see a lot of oxidation, but that... that These... I don't think these were the problem. These are... You know... You see this right here? <laughs> That's the issue right there. Jesus Christ. I mean, how in the hell are we going to fix that? <laughs> uh, let's look at ZXW tools. Uh, it's gonna be a disaster, man. I mean, I, I don't know. This might be the end of micro soldering. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but but this might this might be. Yeah, I mean, this is this is. I don't think it's gonna be good. You know, I mean, I I think maybe uh, I think maybe Jess is gonna do well. Jess is gonna do well because with data, data recovery is gonna be easy for this. So I mean, yeah, I know what my plan is. I don't, I'm not gonna. Whatever I know, what my plan is. Okay, so let's uh, take a look and see what the hell's going on here, man. Um, so this is where we're at right here, and then are all these? Yeah. So look, look at this. This is insane. I mean, I mean, there's just no way we're gonna be able to repair this. Just no way. Look, these go under this chip right here. I mean, there's just no way. This is this board is game over, my, except for data recovery. Game over. Uh, I'm sorry to say it, but I'm sorry, but this is game over. Yeah. So I guess what we can do is try to re put, repair the touch, but what is that gonna what is it gonna do for this guy? You know, like you, yeah, you can you can fix the touch, and then um, oh, why did they build this board like this? Gosh. This is awful. Let me take this off because it's still really hot. But this is awful, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if every board is going to be like this, it's it's going to be game over, yeah. It's going to be game over for micro soldering. So, better go look for another job now. I mean, you're you're not running jumpers under that. <laughs> Let's fix this thing. So, so anyways, I think this is gonna be the end of my touch re repair. Um, my no touch repair. <laughs> um, man, oh man, this is uh, this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. I've I've really been thinking about this quite a bit over the past past few days here. Um. Yeah, I've been thinking about it over the past few days, and I, I'm just, you know, I mean, this is nothing that I did. This is this is due to the bending, whatever happened to it that tore all these pads, you know. So, hmm. Well, I think we're closed right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer this anyways. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. This is this is gonna be part two of the no touch repair, even though there was no repair done. Um, but I have another one here that maybe it's not as bad as this one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Thanks for watching.
So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this channel and I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um, we have it hosted at udemy.com and it's at this point it's four hours of video instruction. Um, the reviews are pretty good um, and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone logic board um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station your micro soldering um, station and how to use diode mode uh, the third part is the three most common repairs which is no touch no backlight no charge and the fourth part is all about data recovery so um, if you go through our website it's a hundred bucks and some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things or you can't learn micro soldering online I beg to differ um, I don't know about you guys but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago and that's how I learned it um, and not only that but you know you go to a live course some people like live courses but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course right so um, and then yes you're right you can go to YouTube and watch all these videos um, but you're not gonna when people make these videos they don't go from A to Z they usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watch something earlier on or one of their earlier videos so this course is all-encompassing it has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro soldering and we are adding stuff um, on a weekly maybe monthly basis and we're, we're gonna just gonna keep adding to this thing and um, so if you want to get started just I mean you could also take a class but uh, you know to get your feet wet I think this is the best thing to do right here and I vouch for it um, thanks for watching the video I was also gonna say um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy at Udemy and that will give you the $50 off. Thanks.